is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner, primary breadwinner for my family, and if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So That's awesome. thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, well, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great weekend. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. An agreement doesn't work, change the agreement, create a new one. Use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 246, NASDAQ up 193, SP's up 40, gold contract up $25, trading 1820 an ounce. We got silver up 51 cents, 24 dollars, six cents an ounce, light sweet crude up a buck 31, $68. 73 cents a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note up 10 ticks, trading 133.29. The 30 year up 16 ticks at 164.18 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 372 ticks, trading out here at 92.690. Euro 117, yen 109.85, and the British pounds at 137 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S and P's? Let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we got a couple ABC structures on the way up. That's the bottom line. We're going to the next leg, man. Here we go. Uh, you got a 449. You're taking out today. You're 450. You need 40 million. You're going to have about 50 million. We're 40 right now, and that's going to be the 36 to 47. So we get about a 10.8 A to B equals C to D. That case is going to give you a 456. And we're at 450 right now inside the SPY. NDX 100, this is a very large ABC structure on the way up. Uh, bottom line is that you're up $3.90 right now. You get 20 million shares traded. Uh, we've already done 20 million, you know, which is light volume, but guess what? Uh, you know, and this is where light volume works out <laughs> uh, in general uh, if you pull back and then go higher again. Bottom line, this is, uh, this is a monster, actually, 75. Yeah, it's 14 bucks. Uh, 71, 81, 85. 385 is the number. And I suspect we're going to get it. If we go take a look at the NDX, uh, the movers inside there, you got Workday is up 9.6%, Lamb Research up 4.2, AMD up 3.5, and Xilinx up 3.6. You can see when, where the chips go, folks, the NDX 100 goes. Where the NDX 100 goes, the market goes. And you can see that the, out of the, uh, the four top leaders, three of them are chip stocks. Taken away from it, you got Peloton down 8.2%. You got Moderna off 5%. Uh, you got uh, Dollar Tree off 2.6%. And you got Marvel Technologies off 2.5%. We go into, well, hell, I know what we got to do. We got to go to the Russell. Uh, and what you have with the Russell here, folks, this is a monster move by the Russell. Totally makes sense, though. Why? Because we had talked about this before. The aspect that the bottom line is that oil is going as is finally the oil, I mean, the uh, oil, the gold and silver equities. That, that all these, that, these, if you're wondering why the small caps, you know, basically, well, you get the small caps up 64 right now. You get the IWM up six and a half, okay? And what that has to do with, folks, is that most of the Small oil and gas exploration stocks, the oil stocks, I mean, the uh, gold and silver, all, all, the, all the material stocks are inside the 
Small caps. And yeah, it's a monster move, and it's an ABC up also. So the B point on this is 223. You raised 210. So you get what, 13 bucks? Uh, that's three, no, 230. 232. 232 is your next move, and 233 is the highs. We'll go on to the highs. That's the bottom line. Some of the uh, notes and bonds. Now, look at this one, man. This is a trip. Now, this is what the note and bond market has actually done the last two times before the Fed actually come out. TYU is that we went right down, right, the volume came out before the swing, Did, didn't break the swing, and then bang, you go topside just as fast. And that's exactly what this did. It's really wild, man, that this is how this played out. Uh, because now, guess what? Notes and bonds want higher price once again, man. You had two days of selling on the way down. We did three million contracts on the way down Wednesday. You did 3.1 yesterday, and the bottom line, we're doing 2.2 today. You're going higher. This thing wants higher price. If we go take a look at the uh, tenure right now, you're at 1.3 percent on the tenure. Some of the high volume equities out here, you have, uh, let's see, we got Advanced Micros up 370. You got uh, Bank of America up 38. NVIDIA is up 644. What a monster this is, huh? Look at this thing. This thing split, <laughs> and it just doesn't stop, man. I mean, the bottom line, in the last, what, three, in the last seven trading days, uh, you know, it went split, but it went from 187 to 227. Monster, monster move. There's no two ways about that. Copper. Let's go take a look at the copper market because we also had out here inside of copper, and this is with the dollar going downtown. Bottom line, copper goes uptown, and we have volume behind the move. Oh, look at this. We just might have a little ABC. We do. That's a beautiful thing. Okay, so the B point on this is 430. The A is 396. You got uh, 34 cents. 44, 54, 56. 4.56 is coming at us in the copper market. The next swing point is 4.58. So 4.56 is game. And good old King Dollar. Let's go to King Dollar. Uh, bottom line with King Dollar out here is that what you had with King Dollar is this. King Dollar gave it up, and we did give it up in spades again, meaning that you had a huge price spread and let's just see, it's possible that we, oh, it's just, we, <laughs> this is wild. Uh, we probably need basically one more day down. That's how, it, that's to really break this uh, uptrend. That's how, that's how this shakes out. The bottom, the bottom line is that uh, what we did do, we're right at the trend line right now. I thought, I thought one day like this would actually do it, but it didn't yet. Uh, but you're right at it. That's the real bottom line. You're right at that trend line. You get one more day down like this. You're going to break it. That's saying that the dollar wants to go to the 89 area. So pretty amazing. Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 248. The Nasdaq's up 193. S&Ps are up 40. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. 
Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. C C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 258. You get the Nasdaq up 195. S&Ps are up 41. Let's go inside the Dow Industrials and see what the move is uh, inside of the Dow right now. Uh, Point-wise, what you have, you have Goldman putting 42 positive points, Boeing 34, Disney 22, American Express 21. Taken away from it, Walmart minus 5. The rest of them just one. I mean, pretty, uh, pretty strong market out here today. There's no two ways about that, folks. Uh, Dow is not at the high, but uh, the S&P as well as the NDX 100 and the NASDAQ uh, is topside in spades. Let's go to the XAU and the HUI. Uh, what you have with the XAU out here, m m nice move. You're up 584. Um, 134 you're at. This thing's on its way up into the 146 area. We go look at the Gold Bugs Index, the HUI. Same type of setup in the HUI. HU is up, uh, is 975. This thing's on its way up to the uh, 281 right now. You're at 256. The GDX, which uh, we get the price and volume with simultaneously, which is pretty cool. You can see the expansion of volume finally. Okay, bottom line is that you get uh, you're up dollar 22. We have 29 million shares. That's what you needed. You're blowing away the swing point out here. Uh, gold the uh, GDX, that's on the way up to 35. Uh, your swing point up here is the 35, yeah, 82. So, and that's going to be, this This is all about the good old U.S. dollar, folks. Uh, bottom line is that the, the baby uh, went to the top of its range, couldn't handle price at the top of its range, and starts making its move back downtown. Now, when you make your move back town, when, when you have a consolidation, folks, most times what happens is this. When you can't break the consolidation up, you will go right back down to the other side. Oh, I love it. I got back from Fort Collins. Hey, man, what's going on? <laughs> hey, Tom, how are you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm doing good. Hey, I wanted to say how much I appreciated you wearing your heart on your sleeve yesterday at the beginning of the show. I uh, know that was tough, tough stuff. It's, you know, it right it, there with you. Mm. It's just so sad, man. I yep. mean, you just yep. all those poor Marines and yep, their family. Navy yep. medic and all those yep. people and their mothers and fathers. And it's, it's a bad scene, man. It's just a bad scene. I appreciate it, though. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, um, um, so I wanted to ask you about the IWM. So it's in a, it looks like it's in a consolidation. But within that consolidation, it looks like it's doing an ABC up. So how does that work in your system? Because if that's the case, it looks like it's going right to 233, which is the high. Um, yeah. No, I, that's where it's going. Yeah. Okay. We, when you do it, which is so nice. This is what's really cool, okay? 
the the aspect of um, how an ABC works, I think. And that's why I always talk about folks is that what I do is that I always do the price projection first. Then I say, okay, where is it at? Because I found and learned so much by doing it that way versus, you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, this is nice. It's going to the top of the consolidation. So, like, when you get these in the middle, I mean, you might think the uh, IWM moved a lot today, and it did, folks, okay? But it still wants to move up to the top of the consolidation, which is pretty cool. Right. Now, you know what's cool, Mark, is that what that's also saying to us it, is that oil's going to keep going, gold's going to keep going, silver's going to keep going, commodities are going to keep going, and the dollar wants to go downtown. That's kind of how I'm reading that, you know? Okay. That sounds um, good. <clears throat> so it's, I was thinking, yeah, I was, I, mean, I was thinking maybe we get a little bit of a pullback maybe early next week, and I can buy in for that 233 number, but I missed this one. <clears throat> so... Yeah, it was. It's, I, I'm with you there. I mean, that's why I'm bringing up the aspect that wants to go to the top of it. The thing that's amazing to me right now is that it looks like the Qs are doing another ABC up. It's like, that's wow, crazy. man. Okay? Um, and, you know, as we come into next week, folks, the, the bottom line is that, um, you know, it's a positive week. It doesn't have to be. I'm just saying in general, when you get a run that's going like this, there's, there's not going to be a lot of people... Uh, in work at the by Wednesday, I suspect. Because what what happens here, you got to remember what happens here. What happens is that because it's the last week, well, it used to be the last week before children would go back to school in the Northeast, and folks that hadn't taken off. Now that's different because we're it's a whole different work environment. Then everyone would say, okay, I got I need I got to take off for a few days. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, um, you know we'll see where the rest of this is going to shake out. But you can see. Um, we got a lot of green on this board, man. <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask you about a stock that's getting hammered. It looks like it's doing an ABC down, but it had a, almost a 76% um, retracement, um, and then it, it broke the low. And I'm wondering, did you, did, will it do the What's the name the of it? Project? It's Sava, Cassava Sciences. Yeah, so this, this equity here, okay, let's take a look at this, okay, because this is a problem child, man. I mean, you know, I wouldn't be touching this thing, okay? So what you have here is this, okay? You, you have an equity. Well, here, watch if I bring this all the way back. This thing has been a monster, okay? So if we, if we go back and look in 2021, okay, you're at $6, right? You get all the way up to uh, $146. Then if we bring it, bring it closer, okay, uh, the bottom line is that you see the volatility, uh, it's monster volatility. You went from uh, 146, and you had the high volume low at 65. Then you did a counter trend bounce. You got all the way up to 126. You broke all of that with volume. This is telling me flat out that you uh, let me pull this up. That you're going down. You're probably going down to 23 bucks. Okay. But that's only the first problem in the stock, though. Okay, and I know. Some of the Tigers and Tigers is having it, and, you know, uh, they're trading and all that. But the, the real problem is you better read what's out there, folks, because the real problem, and, and I understand, you know, what you had is that you had a, uh, a firm come out. They shot the stock, but they come out saying flat out that they don't think this thing's real. The biggest concern I see inside of this is this, is, and it's one very simple statement. Yesterday would end up happening. So what the company is saying is, well, what they said. First, the company said that Quadra, Quadrex, okay, is the company that generated the results of the Alzheimer's program, the disease treatment, okay? Right. And that is not the case. So what ended up happening is that the company that they claimed had done the research and generated the results was a lie, okay? So what happened today is that the CEO, okay, Dan, call up, Dan, call, come call up, man. I think it's a fraud myself. So yeah. the bottom line is that what happened is that the, the company come out today and they turned around and says, oh, no, that's not the case. What happened is that we just had them do one part of it and the company generates all the results. Well, guess what? That's a huge problem. So yeah. I, I don't believe it. And Dan, you're happy to call up.
Okay, I think the I think the company's a fraud. That's the bottom line. So yeah, I'd stay away from it, man. Yeah, I rode it from seventy seven to like one ten, and then I got out and been watching it ever since. So <laughs> yeah, uh, listen, man. It's, it's you know, I mean, the, the bottom line, it's been it's been a stock that. Uh, <laughs> It's been a stock that the Tigers and Tigers have been trading like crazy. There's no doubt about that. Uh, but the bottom line is that, guess what? <laughs> you, better, you better read what's inside of that and pay attention to. Uh, just that the one, that's all it takes is that one sentence for me, that if I'm the CEO of a company, I say, they came out with the results, and then all of a sudden I can say, oh, they didn't do the results. We did the results. Forget it, man. Yeah, not good. Okay, thanks, thanks, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Right. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, trading up 246. You get the NASDAQ up uh, 194. S&Ps are up 40. And uh, we go into, uh, let's go into a few of the big dogs and see uh, what they're looking like. You get Amazon right now. Uh, this is going to be interesting, too, because, you know, Amazon, like the last five days, had some uh, real action, 31.75 to 33.50. Uh, but if this uh, Q's wanted to continue to an ABC up, we're going to see Amazon shoot right into the gap. The gap starts at 33.91. Google, this has been, just been a monster out here. Uh, what you have with Google, Google right now is trading up $55. Look at this. It's another ABC up. Man, when you get an ABC market, folks, it's pretty amazing. 
This is another ABC up. Unbelievable. Okay, so what do we got? 2866. 2866. My God, it's 160 A to B, which is going to get you uh, 3,000. Yeah, 3,000 is game inside Google. Uh, Microsoft. We go take a look at Microsoft out here. It's a nice setup. Microsoft is pulling back with light volume. You know, you're up 36 cents, but realistically what you're doing is that you come back into the break top side uh, last Friday. And that we got down to 296, 297.47 is the exact number. So it did what it's supposed to do, meaning you pull back, you pull them back with light volume. The breakout area there is 40 million. You get 17 million. The day before it is 29. So you pull back with light volume. This also wants higher price. NFLX. We take a look at Netflix. Yeah, look at this. ABC up too. Wow. This is going to be interesting. Now, Netflix, this is a little bit different. So I want to see what it's going into. Look at this. Netflix is going to take everything out. This is amazing. Okay, so we'll put Netflix on a weekly. On a weekly basis, you're going to close over 557 or 559. That's saying it's going for 593, man. That's, that's how this is set up right now. Yeah. Going for the top of the range, 593. So it is a, a big number, no doubt about it. We already, NVIDIA, NVIDIA is to the moon. Uh, there's no two ways about that. Let's see where Facebook is. Facebook right now is up 860. That's going after its highs too. Man, the amount of equities that just want to go up is pretty amazing. Um, silver. So let's go. Let, let, first, I'll look at the silver market. Then we'll do the SLV. Okay. So silver. What we have inside silver. Silver is up 52 cents. So this is on the way up to 26 again. Now, silver has not broken its downtrend yet. Okay. That's, you know... The downtrend that we're talking about in silver, this thing started, we're talking about May, and you're going to see it's pretty clear that we just haven't broke it yet. We're coming up right against it, which is awesome. Another day like today, bang, you get it broken, and you're all the way up there. Uh, the SLV, we take a look at the SLV, and much better setup. <laughs> this is always good when this happens. Um, same, let me just look at this. Yeah, this just this barely broke it, but that's all right. They, this is what's cool here. So the SL, so picture this. The SLV, folks, is it really supposed to be almost the same as the uh, silver contract? But the SLV, so the way the SLV is set up is that it has broken its downtrend. So I expect what you're going to see is it. You're going to see higher prices. We'll take a look at a few of the silver equities for a couple of the um, tigers out here. You can see Heckler's up 42 cents. That has price and volume. And they're coming off the bottoms with price and volume, and no one believes it, so it's, it's, it's a good scene. That's what they need. Pan American Silver needs some more volume. We're up to 19. We need more volume, though. If we take a look at uh, uh, first uh, Endeavor, Endeavor is a decent move. That's up 28 cents trading, 450. We take a look at first Majestic, that's AG. That's also in decent shape, too. So we're going to be getting some movement. It's going to be really pretty wild uh, if, in fact, what we see here is that, uh, well, actually, let's go take a look at a couple of South Africans. If we take a look at Harmony, we pull Harmony up. Harmony's moving. That's up 26 cents. Um, the Newmont and Barrick, let's see what they're doing. So we got... Newmont's not bad. Newmont's been having a hard time. Um, Barrick was started finally started performing. And we get some action out here in, in Barrick today too. Uh, and Barrick has also broken the downtrend. So Barrick right now, you're trading out here at uh, 2034. That thing is game. All of these are game folks uh, up until the August 
fourth time frame. That's where it looks like we're going. The, ne the last leg down inside the uh, gold and equity market, okay, had to do with, no, no, had to do with, it was the August 4th time frame. That's what you're looking at. So if you if check it out, check out the August 4th time frame. That's what you'd be looking at. That's where I expect a lot of these to go. And I'll just do the GDX. Um, and the GDX finally got some real movement. You got the, the GDX definitely broke the downtrends. The GDX is on its way up to 40, and you're at 32 right now. Now, that'll take a bit. I mean, it's not going to be overnight. But what you do know if you've been in inside the gold and uh, silver equities, on the way down, they kill you. On the way up, they're fast and furious. They're just highly volatile equities, folks. And the, the main reason that they're so highly volatile is that it's a very small part of the market. I mean, a tiny part. I believe you can probably take in, well, here, let's just, let's just look at this for a second. I think you can take in the largest equities. We can do this quick. So, Newmont's 46 million. Yeah, watch this. Newmont's 46 million. And then you got, that's market cap. And Barrick is 36. So, 46, 56, 76, 86, 92. Okay, so both of those are 92 million in market cap. Okay. Those are the two largest gold stocks in the world, you know? So the bottom line is that you can see what I'm talking about here, that you have the aspect that, you know, you don't need a lot of buy-in and or a lot of selling in order to basically, um, you know, go south or go north in a very large way, you know? Hey, that, that's, that's how these whole things shake out. And you don't need a lot of buying and selling. Um, and the correlation is direct. If we go over to the oil market, we take a look at, um, the OIH, you're going to see a really sweet move out here. OIH is up $9.90. That's another ABC structure on the way up. They took out a B point today, 185. It's a big monster, too. It's a 20 point A to B, which next moves get you 200. Right now, you're at 199. So 200, that's the, next, that's the swing point that we're laying up there at uh, July 14th. You know? We get ABC structures on the way, all the way. Uh, all over the place. That's that's the real bottom line. Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up at 237. You get the Nasdaq up 186. S&P's up 39. Uh, come right back, folks. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, trading... Up at 233, Nasdaq's up 185, S&Ps are up 39. And let's go to the oil contract and take a look at the oil contract. We just look at the OIH. So the contract right now is trading up a buck 25. We're at 67.68, uh, 68.67. Not bad volume all the way up here. So we got, you don't quite, <laughs> it's just missing an ABC. Uh, bottom line, I think the next leg brings you to 73. That's how this thing seems to be shaking out. If we look at ExxonMobil, uh, ExxonMobil out here, that's not bad. It's up a buck. Chevron, Chevron's up 133. Um, not bad. Now we'll switch gears and let's go over the iron ore business and we take a look at valley inside the I well first off let's go to i and ore in general and i and ore is one of these equities uh well commodities that went to the moon then gave it up in spades now it looks like it's starting to go move again uh, so i and ore in the last four months we just went from 1262 a ton all the way down to 735 this is you know, you want to take a look at how consolidations work went to the bottom of consolidations so now it starts working higher again and if we take a look at Valley, this is one of the largest iron ore producers. That's up 65 cents. This is trading $19.45 right now. Yeah, it got under the low. It had to get under the low because we went down so hard last week, but it did. We went from 20 to 17. You had 172 million shares. I uh, got under that this week with 12 million rejected lower price. And so this thing wants higher price too. It's going to be intriguing watching that uh, shake out. But I suspect all of this, folks, has to do with the aspect that the dollar is getting less expensive. That, that's how I'd, I'd set up the whole aspect of uh, the commodities in general. That's kind of how they they are set up. We're going to take Apple. We hadn't taken a look at Apple yet. So, uh, Tim Cook is coming into his last tranche. Okay, so check this out, man. This is pretty intense. So Tim Cook, let me see if I can find this for you. Tim Cook is going to get another 75, no, 750 million. Um, this was a 10-year agreement, and there's no doubt, you know, he performed. There's no doubt about that. And the way that the tranches worked is that he had to be, Apple had to be, had Better performance, let's put it, there we go, put on a 10-year. Better performance than 70% uh, of the S&P equities. That's how this worked. But watch this. I'll put this on just with the S&P. Okay, come on, compare it. There it is. Look at that. Oh, my God. He didn't even have to worry about that. Uh, he outperformed. So the way the agreement was written is that he would get each tranche, and a tranche means, folks, that let, he had 10 separate tranches, okay? So 10 separate deals. Every year, there's a different deal. The last ones, you, get, you can see it pretty qu quite clearly. The green line is the uh, S&P. The white line is Apple. Can you put that 
Uh, it's up there. Thanks, Al. Okay, so you can see it's dramatic. Uh, bottom line, though, he is going to be collecting some big dollars. There's no two ways about it. Um, one of the targets want to take a look at the UUP. Now, the UUP, folks, is the ETF structure for the dollar. The low of that uh, for the year, let's see, is 24. The high is 25.60. This thing moves very slowly, but it's, it's a good vehicle. There's no two ways about that. Uh, so this is down today with the 772 million shares, a thousand shares rather. You're taking out a swing. You don't have the volume on the swing though. Well, you, you do, I guess. But this thing anyway, this thing, my, my take is that this thing wants to get down to 24. And let's see. Yeah, that, I just say that, listen, that, that's, that's the next step down there. You can actually see on the UUP also that you're right at the verge, as is the actual trading vehicle. Uh, you can see you're right at the verge of breaking the uptrend. We haven't done it yet, but you're right at, you're right at that verge. And once that thing, if we have one more day inside the dollar, like we're down today, folks, okay, the bottom line would be there's a decisive break on the downside and... Uh, the, 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 not only you and I will see this, the whole world uh, will see it pretty quickly and they'll start selling that dollar left and right. Uh, if we take a look at the euro, what you have with the euro, now all of these are going to be up today. The euro is up big, you know, he's up 43 ticks. That doesn't seem big, but the bottom line is it is. Low today was 117.35, we're at 117.95. That wants to get up into the 119, you're at 117. The British pound right now, that's up 65 ticks. That just took back everything that it had given it up yesterday, took back everything. And the biggest one for the metal bulls out here is the yen. And the yen gave it up. Uh, the yen gave it up today at 10, at 110, no, at 110.27. And right now we're trading at 109.81. Uh, now, that's saying that the yen wants to get down to the bottom of this consolidation, which is 108.72. The real kicker inside of the yen will be at the 108.72. Does it break it? And then you have a run that's extraordinary. <laughs> that's, you know, we're, we're, it, it's set up pretty good right now to have that. And, and this is why, folks, okay? You had the, we had Fidelity selling like crazy, Barrick Gold all the way down. It was two weeks ago. If you get the gold report, you know this. It was two weeks ago that Fidelity went from being a seller to a buyer of gold stocks. And they, they came in. They came in all over the place. Where Fidelity goes, the market goes, particularly in the gold market. Because what ends up happening, it doesn't take much, as I said earlier, to basically jam these down or up. But the bottom line, two weeks ago, they changed their tune in a big way. In fact, let me just see this for right now. And let's just see, because see, they own so much of a couple of these equities that they almost have to report almost every day sometimes. So it's the 27th today. There's the 26th. Oh, that's interesting, man. Oh, look at that. Hold it. I gotta, I, let me take a picture of that. Because I have inside Barrick, I got to have to take a picture of this Monday. One second. Sorry, folks. Because what happens, that's an easier way for me to keep track of it. Uh, because you can see right there, it's actually saying that they sold 1.47 million. What happens is that these don't, the, I want to see if that says that Monday morning. That's how, that's what's going on there. Um, that is 6-6. Six, six. 827, 826, okay. And then let's go into AEM, Aniko Eagle. Take a look at Aniko Eagle, see where they're at. Yeah, look at that. Their bar is 4.7 million, Aniko Eagle. This is as of yesterday. Now they own 19 million, 7.88%. Yeah, we get action, man. Stay right there, folks, come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 245, NASDAQ up 186, S&Ps are up 39. Bottom line, folks, is that uh, we got an ABC structure up all over the place. you got an ABC structure up in the S&P. You have one in the NQs, you have one in gold, you have one in the GDX, uh, no, in the gold contract, rather. Uh, the XAU and the HUI, we wouldn't have them in, the, in that yet because the pullback was uh, just too much in the, the bottom line. They haven't even made their first run yet. But uh, the rest of those indices, man, you got an ABC structure. Oh, as well as the small caps. So I suspect as we come into next week, you're going to see some green action. That's the, that's the real bottom line. And what we will see is this, is that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you can expect some decent trade. And Thursday, Friday, it's going to fall off. Uh, you know, Monday, uh, next Monday is going to be the uh, Labor Day. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. I think we're going to run right up into it. The real question is for us uh, metal bulls is that, okay, will that dollar go down another 380 ticks? If we get another 380 ticks down, we get 384 today. We get 380. You get, let, let's pitch it. 380, well, 350. Anything over 350 gives you that wide price spread. That'd break that whole uptrend that would have been in. You break that uptrend, 89 for the dollar. Now we go to 89 the dollar when the gold's already at 1821. Uh, yeah, we'll go to the ABC structure on the way up. But if we go to 89, that gold contract will blow out those tops out in a monster way. Because you got to remember something: inside the gold market, this is what ends up happening: the gold as well as the gold equities, love doing a 1 to 1.382, 
are 1 to point 1.50 on the way up or on the way down. So what that means, if you know you, you haven't wrapped your head around Fibonacci yet, is that the first move is 10. If it's a 1.382, it's 1382 on the way up. If it's a 1.5, it's 15. First move's 10 bucks, next move's 15. That's what gold likes to do all the time. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit us Monday morning. Tommy kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Please tell your friends about TFNN. Ask them to go to YouTube. Search TFNN. Subscribe. It is free. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Look at them, folks. Building wealth trading in the stock market.